Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer, and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take out however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys would like to book a one on one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right, my loves. Let us see what is coming in for you guys. Oh, you know what I didn't do, actually? I was going to. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Okay, Cancer. Oh, I am loving this. Okay, I feel um, already, I'll see what pops out, but I feel like I'm kind of uh, tapping into kind of a, a vision or something that you've been trying to manifest and it's something about the future, like a, a project or... Oh yeah, okay, this is perfect. Yeah, I think that... Um, here's what I'm gonna tell you, okay? There's some type of vision that you have right now and this is total cancer energy. Like there's just something about your emotions or whatever you're trying to manifest. You, I think that there's something that you have in mind and it's coming to fruition. It might be kind of slowly right now, but it's because there's, there's other things that are coming into place. There's other things that are kind of setting up in this very specific way energetically before you're fully ready for that to come in and happen. But I feel like there's some things that you've been resistant on doing. Um, you'll have to see what this is for yourself because you're going to know. And I feel like especially with the visionary um, or like the vision that you're coming into, it is kind of like the visionary archetype, if you guys have heard of that in Carl Jung's teachings. So what's happening i feel like for you guys is you have this huge capacity to envision what's not even conceivable to others like you have this really incredible of ability that's what you are as the self like you have this really high creativity that you can pull into like different vibrational realities just like from your vision okay and whenever you start doing that you start getting this chemical uh, release inside of your being like all of these really amazing things start happening in your energy and you have this um, you do have this ability to kind of manifest a vision and you don't really have a regard for the personal gain of it do you know what I mean like sometimes like at times you can be so unselfish that it can be at your detriment but here's what happens on the other side of it okay at times if you've got your shadow which i can see with the dead end card okay because there's a little bit of restrictive energy or a blockage where you feel like you're at a dead you're at a dead end about actually making this thing manifest these are totally different energies though look at the creativity and the live energy that's coming in and this is totally like dead and restrictive and this is why because i always talk about with this card if you're push for some reason if this is for you guys where you feel like you're at a dead end this is where yes this normal thing is it's alive with opportunities and you usually have to surrender into whatever you're going through and maybe for some of you it's some type of karmic lesson but the other thing too i'm seeing with the hand being there you could be like blocking like i said kind of resisting something that you know you should be doing and it will open up the energies for you Okay, so that's why I'm encouraging you guys, whatever that is for yourself, I think that what happens is because of some part of your shadow self, sometimes other people come in to entangle with you and then you start kind of like selling your ideas in a way. You could manifest them for yourself, but just because of some of your own self-limiting beliefs, you kind of start to compromise your vision to make it more acceptable maybe even for other people and it's it's pulling you out of your own creativity and your authenticity does that all make sense i hope that is for whoever in the freak this is for but yeah there's oh this is why okay 
You've got the Sun or the Knight of Wands. And let me just grab one more card that just flipped out. Ah, the Maiden of Pentacles. See, this is what I was getting at. <sighs> okay. The Knight of Wands, to me, yeah, it can be someone that's in and out of your life, but it also can be a reflection of your trauma bond energy because maybe, Cancer, there's something that you haven't fully committed to. Like, maybe there's even things that you still need to learn that, and do you feel a little bit overwhelmed by it or you feel like, uh, you know maybe questioning if you can handle maybe the responsibilities or all the added stuff that will come in at you. And what you need to do is constantly be in this process of building, expanding, expanding your creativity and letting go of the mundane things. It's kind of like a boss, you know, if, if you are like a manager. Some of the most important things that managers or owners of companies have to learn is how to trust other people and how to let go of the things that they need to let go of. Do you know what I'm saying? Because things can turn into a burden really fast and then boom, you're restricted in your energy and then everything else will fall apart. Your health, your eating habits, and it will all start with one little thought, the brain chemicals that come with it, and then a holographic manifestation of your vibration. Okay, so that's why whoever is coming in and out of your life, Cancer, like I said, it's just a reflection of you that you're still a little bit back and forth on truly committing to a certain vision or an energy that you have inside of yourself. I hope that all makes sense. Let's dive into the details here, okay? Okay. Don't you guys love my Adam model? I was like, oh my gosh. And yeah, there's a lot of things that are going to be changing on the channel because I'm going to start explaining more now the expansion because this is how you can see too. Oh, look, at there's your card. Here's the King of Cups. See? Okay. What I talk about with this card is the King of Cups. This is a mature energy. This is the mature version of a Cancer being balanced in your mind, right? He's got one foot in the air and one foot in the water, which means that you're still in touch with your emotions, your intuition and what you need to do, but you're not completely consumed by it. Okay, that's the maturing of the energy. And what's gonna help you, I feel as though just kind of chemically you keep getting consumed by a certain vibrational pattern that you have and then it's affecting your manifestation and your vision of what you're wanting to accomplish for yourself. So let me see what else comes out here. Yeah, look what happens. Holy freaking crap. Eight of Swords. So that's that stuck energy, right? Where... But this is going to come out in a manifestational way. But this is, it's a reflection of your thoughts where you get stuck in a pattern where, for example, you know, sometimes when I move different places, like whenever I start traveling around, something that makes me feel stuck at times is my emotions around saying goodbye to the pets that I fall in love with. <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous, but... Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss them so much. And then when I step into the next like location or the next place that I travel to, I'm like totally fine and happy. And I think that's just because of some old chemical programming of feeling the emotional attachment to something falling away or just like the fear of rejection or abandonment. Those can come in as these insecurities, but that's why I was wondering if this could possibly be for you guys about travel or movement forward or just doing something by yourself because two of wands can be like you're planning ahead to do something independently and so that's the world card so it could be travel but the fountain card i feel as though whatever you guys this is full alignment that's union with yourself and i feel like it will come a little bit through the alchemization that needs to happen here the eight of swords that's self-inflicted entrapment in your mind and based off of your brain chemicals and i'll tell you guys there's something definitely connected with food on that because i'll tell you whenever i start water fasting it's like all of that naturally falls away so i could get into that for days but yeah 
this is what typically happens but i love this card pulling out at the end cancer because the fountain i feel like you're coming into union with your purpose but it will be when you commit, you know, when you pull out of your own trauma bond energy, it's going to be where this finally settles into a full blown manifestation. And then you will be in full blown union with the self and the fountain card. Yes, that's alignment with your life purpose, with your path, where you're meant to be going. And I feel like there could have been a little bit of detachment from that for a while because it could have come in as a manifestation from another human that was showing you the shadow of you feeling conflicted or just going through that mental turmoil of overanalyzing something. I don't freaking know, but we'll dive into the extended with this and see what else is going to come out. So Cancer, if you want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. But cancer if this is where we leave things i'm sending you guys so much love wishing you all the very best and i'll see you in your next reading take care